All right, so today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, get and run a proper SimCraft. First thing you want to do is come to code.google.com slash p slash simulation craft front slash. If you just uh, type, uh, go to Google and type SimCraft and hit enter, it'll be your first one that pops up. Go ahead and go to the downloads page. I'm going to download the proper one for your operating system, either Mac or Windows. And if you're downloading this top one here, go ahead and just destroy your computer and buy a PC. Come to this page, click on the download link. It'll download down here. Just go ahead and extract it. When you get into it, all you're going to do is come down to the Simulation Craft application, open that up, and that's going to be this. First step you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and come to Options. Now, start at the Globals. Here, you're not going to want to change anything. Um, you want to make sure that the version's live, uh, length is a 500 second fight, and when you do your fight against the target dummy. You want to make sure that your fight also lasts for 500 seconds. Uh, get a friend to time you or something like that works great. You want the fight style to be patchwork because at a target dummy you're not going to be moving so make sure that it's not either. Target race humanoid, player skill. Um, changing this is going to change total DPS because it, it'll do things if you set it on good, average, or ouch, fire is hot and it'll move you around more so that you, uh, the simulation is doing more. So leave it on Elite and that's going to be your perfect rotation. Uh, threads 1, Smooth RNG no, Armory Region US, Armory Spec active, and Generate Debug none. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to come under Buffs. Now under Buffs, uh, if you mouse over it, it's going to show you what things can provide that, bus, that buff. You want to make sure that only buffs that you can provide for yourself are selected here. Uh, I have Arcane Intellect because at the time I did my test, I had an int buff from some random person. Next thing you do is you're going to come to debuffs. Only have debuffs that you can apply on the uh, target. Um, now, shamans don't actually apply any of these debuffs at all, so all of them are removed from mine. Uh, scaling don't have anything selected, plots don't have anything selected. Next you're going to go ahead and come to import. Now when you search the armory, type in your character name, space, at symbol, space, your server. And this will bring just you up. Now you're going to want to scroll through and make sure that you have the right gear on in it. Make sure you don't have like a fishing pole on the armory or something like that. Check your gear, make sure it's all correct. As long as it's got everything equipped that you do in your test, you're good to go. And you're going to click on the import button down here in the bottom right. This is going to import in everything. Now, it's got some things that are set in it that you want to get rid of. First off, you're not going to be using potions or flasks, so you're going to come down to a line that says use pre potion one, delete it. Flask, delete it. Feast delete it. Uh, use potion, delete. Uh, Bloodlust we are going to use, so we leave that. Volcanic potion, delete. Um, make sure that everything else is things that you're going to use. And you'll notice this one's using Bloodlust and the Fire Elemental Totem, so when I did my uh, test against the target dummy, I made sure to use those as well. So now that all that is set right, you're going to uh, go ahead, come down here and click on simulate. This is going to go ahead and it's going to simulate it and it's going to come out with what you should have. Now over a, it's going to give you some useful information, it's going to tell you the fight length so you know how long to do your test for. Uh, it's going to make, you want to make sure that your race, class, tree and everything's right, make sure that it is what you are. Sometimes it can error out and if it does just go back and import again and try again. But down here it'll tell you what your DPS should be over that fight. Um, it's going to break down your spells based on casting time. So the damage done is here. 
Obviously, Flame Shock has the shortest casting time and did the most, does the most damage for it than Lava Burst, Lightning Bolt, Thunderstorm, Earth Shock, Fire Nova. Uh, Fire Melee and Fire Nova, those are both from my uh, Fire Elemental. Shows you your general mana usage timeline over, you know, 500 seconds with this. I should be uh, at roughly 40% mana, which is about what I was at. Down here, it'll show you your damage sources. Lightning Bolt being the most for mine, then Lava Burst, Searing Totem, all the way around. Uh, for this one, I take the Fire Melee and Fire Nova and add those two together, and that's what my Fire Elemental is. Has your DPS timeline. As you can see with an Elemental Shaman, there are lots of spikes throughout the timeline. Uh, right about here is where Heroism was cast. Uh, DPS distribution shows you minimum, uh, maximum. Most of mine is right around the middle throughout the fight. I'm going to be doing an average of the 52,208 throughout the entire fight. Resource gains, it'll show you how much mana regen you've done from what sources or rage or energy. And down here, it has a breakdown of all your abilities. The actual DPS of each of your abilities, the percentage it is of your total. Um, it shows Lightning Bolt is 38%. For some reason, my Lightning Bolt's usually around 48 to 51, but my DPS is about the same as what it says I should be getting, so I don't care about that much. But just look through. It has all the useful information here on breakdowns. Then it has a pets breakdown of their DPS. If you have any pets or anything out, it'll show you all their abilities, too. Uh, over buffs, you want to make sure that it didn't have any buffs that you didn't. If it did, you need to import again and go through those settings and make sure you have them removed. Um, all of these are buffs from myself or items that I do proc during the uh, time. Constant buffs. Um, Heroic Presence, Jirai buff, Lightning Shield, obviously I always keep up, and like I said, I had Arcane Brilliance selected, because at the time of my test I had it up also. Then, for some reason, Uptimes doesn't work, I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, I'll show you proc numbers, 40 lightning, uh, Lava Surge procs, 138 Rolling Thunder procs, and 4 Wasted Lightning Shield procs. Gains, it'll show you your mana gains. Now, one thing with this, uh, especially with shamans, um, it does not count you using Thunderstorm. So, don't use it while you're testing against the dummy. Your mana should be able to last for what it says it can last. Like mine said, it should be at 40%. That's no Thunderstorms, no pots, nothing like that. Um, it counts me as using a Mana Spring Totem. Um, by default, I have Tranquil Mind out. So you can kind of accommodate for there. You know, it says for the Mana Spring Totem, I should have gained 32,509. So subtract that from your total mana at the end, and you should be set about right. Action Priority List. Um, this will break down what you want to do and when. Um, top Priority, Flame Tongue Weapon. Should always have that out. Then Lightning Shield then totems, um, bloodlust when the mob is 25% or less, or if there's 60 seconds or less to die. Then it comes down to the other the actual spells. Use items, old friend's glove, that's my uh, springs from my engineering, then elemental mastery, then flame shock should be up. After flame shock, next priority is light lava burst then Earth Shock, then Fire Elemental, then Searing, then Chain Lightning, then Lightning Bolt, then Thunderstorm. Now, Chain Lightning is only if adds are greater than two, and back on the options, under General, we set number of adds to uh, zero, so that didn't come in at all. Uh, as long as you make sure that everything is right in here, then you should get an accurate report. Then you just go to a test dummy. Um, I recommend using a test dummy somewhere that a bunch of people aren't using it also, so that it doesn't have any debuffs on. If uh, after you test you notice that it had some debuffs, make sure that you come here and you add whichever ones it were, like if someone else was attacking it with you. Just compare that to your same 500 second fight against the target dummy. 
and you should be able to see how you compare. Now, if you're within 90% of what it says you could have, you're good. It's probably just things like latency or you made a mistake, one or two mistakes throughout your casting. However, if you find that you're only getting like 60 or 70% of what it says you should be able to get, I recommend going on to Elitist Jerks forums and looking up things there like proper spec and rotation and stuff like that and uh, making sure that you get that all set. Hope you enjoyed this video on... Uh,